Adolf Hitler, the architect of destruction. From 1889 to 1945, Adolf Hitler was the leader of the National Socialist German Workers' Party, also known as the Nazi Party, and served as Chancellor of Germany from 1933 to 1945. His policies of expansionism, anti-Semitism, and Aryan racial purity led to World War II and the Holocaust. Rise to power. Hitler rose to prominence in the early 1930s, capitalizing on economic woes, nationalist sentiment, and anti-Semitic prejudices. He was appointed chancellor in 1933 and quickly consolidated power, establishing a totalitarian regime. World War II. Hitler's aggressive foreign policy led to the invasion of Poland in 1939, triggering World War II. His military campaigns brought much of Europe under Nazi control by 1941. The Holocaust. Under Hitler's rule, the Nazis implemented the final solution, the systematic extermination of six million Jews along with millions of other minorities, political dissidents and prisoners of war. Downfall. As the Allies closed in on Berlin in 1945, Hitler committed suicide in his bunker. His death marked the end of Nazi Germany. Joseph Stalin, the Iron Fist of the Soviet Union. Joseph Stalin, born in 1878 and passing away in 1953, was the dictator of the Soviet Union from the mid-1920s until his death in 1953. His reign was characterized by widespread terror, purges and forced collectivization. rise to power. After the death of Vladimir Lenin in 1924, Stalin outmaneuvered his rivals to become the leader of the Communist Party and the Soviet state. The Great Purge. In the late 1930s, Stalin launched a series of campaigns to eliminate perceived enemies within the party, military and society. Millions were executed or sent to gulags, which were labor camps. Collectivization. Stalin forced the collectivization of agriculture leading to widespread famine, particularly in Ukraine, known as the Holodomor, where millions died. World War II. Stalin's leadership during World War II was marked by initial military failures and later significant victories against Nazi Germany. The war's end expanded Soviet influence in Eastern Europe. Post-war era. After the war, Stalin's policies of repression continued until his death. His legacy 
is marked by immense industrial and military expansion, but at the cost of millions of lives. Genghis Khan, the conqueror of worlds. Genghis Khan, born to Mujin, was the founder and first great Khan of the Mongol Empire, which became the largest contiguous empire in history. Early life. Temujin overcame a challenging childhood marked by family betrayal and hardship to unite the Mongol tribes. Conquests, Genghis Khan's military campaigns were characterized by their speed, strategy and brutality. He conquered vast territories across Asia and into Europe, often massacring entire populations of cities that resisted. Empire building. He established a sophisticated and unified empire with a strong legal code, religious tolerance, and a network of trade routes, including the Silk Road. Legacy, despite his ruthless methods, Genghis Khan's impact on world history includes the promotion of trade, communication, and cultural exchange across his empire. Vlad the Impaler, the real Dracula, Vlad III also known as Vlad the Impaler or Vlad Dracula, was a ruler of Wallachia, which is now part of Romania. He is best known for his cruel punishments, particularly impalement. Vlad's reign was marked by a fierce defense of his territory against the Ottoman Empire and his efforts to consolidate power in Wallachia. His use of impalement as a method of execution and punishment was intended to instill fear and deter enemies. He is reputed to have impaled thousands of people, including invading Ottoman soldiers and domestic criminals. Legacy. Vlad's brutal reputation was cemented in European folklore and later became associated with the fictional character Count Dracula. Paul Pot, the architect of genocide, born in 1925 and passing in 1998, Paul Pot was the leader of the Khmer Rouge and the Prime Minister of Democratic Kampuchea, which is now Cambodia, from 1975 to 1979. His regime was responsible for the Cambodian genocide. Khmer Rouge Pol Pot led the Khmer Rouge, a radical communist movement that seized power in Cambodia in 1975. Year Zero. Upon taking power, Pol Pot sought to transform Cambodia into a rural, classless society. He ordered the evacuation of cities 
abolished currency and executed intellectuals and perceived enemies. Genocide. His policies led to mass starvation, forced labor, and executions, resulting in the deaths of an estimated 1.7 to 2 million people. Fall from power. In 1979, a Vietnamese invasion toppled Pol Pot's regime. He continued to lead guerrilla forces in the Cambodian jungle until his death. Ivan the Terrible, Russia's first Tsar. From 1530 to 1584, Ivan the Fourth, known as Ivan the Terrible, was the first Tsar of Russia. His reign was marked by significant territorial expansion and extreme cruelty. Early reign, Ivan was crowned Tsar in 1547 and initially implemented progressive reforms. However, his later years were marked by paranoia and violence. Ivan established the Oprichnina, a state policy that involved the creation of a separate territory directly controlled by the Tsar and policed by his secret service. This period saw widespread terror, executions, and the confiscation of lands. Ivan's most infamous act was the massacre of the inhabitants of Novgorod in 1570, which was carried out under the pretext of quelling treason. Ivan's reign left a legacy of centralized autocratic rule in Russia, but his methods and mental instability have made him a historical figure of terror. These figures have left indelible marks on history through their ruthless actions and the fear they inspired, often resulting in immense human suffering and lasting legacies of hope.